Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Hello, this is Dr. A. Deepa, Associate Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, School of Computing, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology, deemed to be University Chennai. Let's get into the topic for today. It's merge sorting algorithm. The outline for today's lecture is first, what is sorting? and why sorting is required, how sorting is performed, where all it is applied and then we will get into what is merge sort algorithm in detail. So what is sorting is, sorting is arrangement of elements in a particular order based on a specific criteria. The criteria can be either shape or it can be alphabetical order or it can be based on the reviews which are mentioned for a particular YouTube lecture. So in this way we will have to arrange some elements. So for that purpose sorting is required. And next why sorting is required is there are several requirements when you are giving a particular Google search based on the keyword some links are arranged in order they are listed out. And then if you are typing for a particular video in YouTube you will be getting some videos based on some arrangements. So how they are arranged? When you require for some records from the database the elements are arranged and they are getting displayed or when you are going for any students records based on their alphabetical order, based on their alphabetical requirements or based on their mark list, based on their rank list. So in those cases we need sorting and next is there are variety of sorting algorithms which are available. So what is our purpose or what is the size of the data based on that a particular algorithm is matched. So sorting can be classified into comparative sorting and non-comparative sorting. In comparative sorting, the elements are checked with each other and based on that they are arranged in order. So these are some of the types of sortings, bubble sort, insertion sort, selection sort, quick sort, merge sort, heap sort based on comparison and when you go for non-comparative sorting, there are counting sort, radix sort and so on. So next getting into what is merge sort algorithm, merge sort as the name implies it has to merge some data elements. So what is merged is? First they have to be splitted out and then they are compared and they are sorted in a particular order. So when merge sorting is required is when you have a database in a larger size. So in those cases individual comparison will not be applicable. In those cases we can prefer merge sort algorithm. So how it works is it works on the concept called as divide and conquer method. So what is divide is first the entire data set is divided into modules. How long the division has to occur is till further division is not possible. So based on that it is divided into two equal size of elements. And then after they are divided we have to go for the conquer process. Conquer process is to get the listed order that is to get the sorted elements. They are compared and they are arranged in order. Let us see with an example. So one problem is there, so when the problem is of a larger size, it is difficult to sort out them in proper manner by individual comparison. So what we do is, the larger problem is divided into simpler modules and solving a smaller problem is obviously easy to handle. So they are solved one by one and at last the work which are sorted, they are combined back and you get the solution which is required. So this is one example where we have a list of elements. Since numerals are easy to understand, we are taking some set of numbers, they are kept on dividing into two halves and the two halves are divided such that they are splitted into a single element, further division is not possible. So now comparing the splitted elements one by one is just two elements to be compared, so it is easier to understand or easier to in implement. So now they are splitted and then the splitted elements are arranged in order. Now the first splitted blocks they are compared, how they are compared, the first element is compared to the elements in the right side half and then they are arranged in order. Similarly the right half which was divided comparing 7 with the right block elements, they are compared and they are arranged in order. Now these two blocks which are splitted, they will be compared since each block is already arranged in order, it is easier to compare them and arrange. So now you will get an listed elements which are arranged in proper numerical order. This is in ascending order we have arranged. So whatever the criteria we are giving based on that the arrangement will be possible. We will see one more example to understand it. So here again you have some numbers. The numbers are 
different in not in order. So, what we do we are splitting them and then we are comparatively considering individual elements to be compared with each other and based on that the entire set is arranged in order. So, it is still a major explanation. So, here the blue color one which is disturbed first is in unordered. So, now we have to get this is our expected output. So, to get this output how we implement as per merge sort algorithm is keep on dividing them into two halves. Two halves they are divided as equal halves. So, now since it is in even number it is divided into 4, 4 because the input size is 8. If it is in odd number they will be based on rotation upper half or lower half they will be divided into 2. So, now 8 numbers they are divided into 4, 4 numbers. Again these 4 numbers are split into 2 halves. So, we are getting 2, 2 elements. Again this 2 because further division should not be possible. So, four, 2 is divided into single elements. Now, these 2 single elements are compared. So, 5 and 2 comparatively 2 is smaller number since we need ascending order. So, this 2 has been kept at the first and 5 at the next. Similarly, all the splitted modules are divided into and they are compared and they have to be combined. So, the first blue colored elements are divide process and the second in yellow color they are combined process, it is conquer process. So, now when you are conquering them, they are arranged in order. So, at last you will be getting the arranged order in ascending order. So, if you are implementing in as a C program, so for that C program you know that all the program will have three part, first is the input part processing part and the output part. So, first input part we have to get what is required. So, what is to be sorted? So, that is obtained from the user. In the main method you can see that first user is giving the required size of elements and he is giving the input of all the elements which are to be sorted. And then we have to do the processing. So, for doing the processing we are using a function to implement it. So, here since we have to do both divide and then the conquer we are having two functions. The prototypes are given here first is merge sort and the second is merge. So, in the merge part what we are doing is we are dividing the elements into two sub parts and then in the merge sort method we will be combining them together. So, now we are calling the function merge sort and then we are displaying the output and this output will give us the arranged order of elements. So, as per the merge sort algorithm it is doing the splitting part it is dividing the elements into two halves. So, how we are dividing into two half based on the middle value. So, the middle value is obtained by the first size and the last index of the array. So, it is divided into half and you call repeatedly call the function that is recursive method. You are calling the function and you are doing repeated division of elements and then you are combining them in order. In the merge part what we are doing is we are comparing the first element with the right halves first elements and so on. So, after comparison whichever is the smallest element as we have seen in the illustration they will be arranged in order. So, this is the implementation in C language and after you arrange them they are listed out or they are stored back in your output array and this output array will be printed in the print statement. So, this is the time complexity and space complexity of merge sort algorithm. So, best case it will be n log n, worst case as well as in average case it is going to be n log n. Log n denotes how you are splitting it and n log n divides how many times you split and compare it. And for space complexity since the array is how many elements are there in your array. So, the complexity of space is O of n, n indicates the size of your array. So, these are the applications of merge sort algorithm in your Google search, in your YouTube search, for your student records, database, wherever you need some arrangement even in Excel when you are finding for the arrangement of elements based on the highest term first lowest term first in many browsings we might have used in online shoppings based on the price, based on the rating. So, in all these places merge sorting is applied. Thank you.